Hello everyone, hi and welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. To know more about this video, daily compound interest, watch the video till the end and also if you're new to this channel then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon that's given below. Welcome everyone and today's topic is daily compounding interest which is basically a part of the financial modeling topic and uh, when you do financial modeling, Excel is something that comes into picture, that's the first thing. Because without Excel, financial modeling is not possible, right? So this is a part of the the Excel modeling that you do. And let's understand this formula in a very detailed format. What we are going to learn is, we are going to learn the what exactly the daily compound interest is. Then we'll understand with the help of few examples how things will go about in this particular formula. Once uh, we are done with these examples, I'll explain you some of the relevance and the use of this formula. So let's get started. Uh, as you can see over here, the daily compound interest formula, it shows that A is equal to P 1 plus R upon N raised to, uh, you can say NT minus P. Well, looks difficult, but let's understand this by understanding each and every variable here. First of all, we need to understand what exactly daily compound interest is all about. Well, what is daily compound interest? This is the first and the foremost thing. Let's learn this. Well, the daily compound interest means interest that is getting accumulated on daily basis. On daily basis and it is calculated by charging interest on the principal plus the interest. Okay. That is earned on a daily basis. Therefore, it will be higher than the interest which is earned on monthly or quarterly. So let me give you a very detailed compounding concept. Yearly, half yearly, okay, then you have quarterly, and then you have monthly, and you have daily. So the interest that you will earn, let's say over here you are earning. 5. Let's say over here earning interest or, or the compound interest 5. It will be 6 here. Just a hypothetical way. 7, 8 and 9. So, hypothetically, the daily compounding interest is going to be higher than the yearly compounding interest rate. So, this is going to be the entire flow, how it will go about. So, always half year, half year compounding will be greater than yearly. Quarterly will be greater than half yearly. Monthly will be greater than quarterly. And daily will be greater than monthly. I hope this is a very basic concept that you should learn about compounding, right? Let's understand the formula. Well, the formula is A is equal to P bracket 1 plus R divided by N, okay, raised to NT, okay, close another bracket minus P. Let's understand this formula. Here, A is equal to your daily compound rate, P is equal to your principal amount, R is equal to your rate of interest and N is equal to your time period. So, here generally when someone deposits money in the bank the bank pays the interest to the investor in the form of quarterly interest but when someone lends money from the bank the bank charges the interest from the person who has taken the loan in the form of daily compounding interest so the scenario is most applicable in the case of credit cards okay let's understand this with the help of an example to get a proper clarity on this topic well let's say a sum of so let's say a sum of 4000 is borrowed from a bank where the interest rate is let's say 8 percent and the amount borrowed is for a period of let's say two years we have all the variables so let us find out how much will be the daily compounding interest calculation by the bank on the loan provided what is your principal? This is your principal. 
your interest rate your n okay so this is two years and n is usually 365 days so your time over here is two years right let's get the formula going your daily compounding interest is going to be is equal to here your first open the bracket the principal amount okay that is 4000 1 plus your interest rate 8 percent okay divide by open another bracket 100 into your number of days that is 365 into 365 okay close another bracket once that is done raise to open another bracket your 365 days that is your n into your time that is two years right n into t remember don't forget the formula minus your principal amount here it is your daily compounding interest is closely around 692 693 it should be just let me still see if there is any okay so it was basically the percentage so i had kept it as eight percent so that why it was it was showing 6.45 when i change it to the number it shows me 693.96 well this was the example part which i thought probably may be useful to you so that you know we get to a proper conclusion that i know how things are arrived let's take another example two let's say the daily compounding interest is practically applicable for credit card spending which is charged by the banks on the individual who uses credit cards now the credit cards generally have a cycle of closely around 60 days during which time the banks does not charge any interest but the interest is charged when the interest does not pay back within the 60 days so if a sum of 4000 is used as a credit card by an individual for its spending and the interest rate is 15 percent per annum as the interest charge for the credit card is generally very high and the amount is repaid by the individual after 120 days that is 60 days and after the grace period is over so the individual needs to pay the bank interest for 60 days and is charged at the daily compounding rate okay so over here in this particular formula here instead of n is 365 the time 0.2 Okay, time over here will be 0.2 so it will change to 64.50 here and instead of 58 i'll take 15 okay 15 uh, as the annual interest rate so it will be closely around 122 will be the daily interest rate that was just a one single change that i wanted to make you understand example number three let's say a sum of thirty five thousand dollar is borrowed from a bank as a car loan where the interest rate is let's say seven percent per annum and the amount is borrowed and let's say it is borrowed for five years of time spent so five years of time spent so let us find out how much will be the daily compounding interest rate calculation by the bank on the loan provided so principal is 35 7 and make sure n is your 365 so our formula as simple as that you should be now you know clear about you know how the formula will go so rather than you know uh, talking about the entire formula i'll just input all the details so 35000 uh come on so 35000 dollar 1 plus 0.7 divided by 365 raised to 365 into 5 minus 35000 dollars right so in a way uh close here on one one two zero this is a very big amount still let me figure out if any mistake has been conducted here okay it was seven percent so i took zero point seven this was a simple uh, mistake zero point zero seven so fourteen six sixty five so now finally let's understand the relevance and the use of this formula see generally when someone deposits money in the bank the bank pays the interest to the investor in the form of quarterly interest but when someone lends the money from the bank the bank charges the interest from the person who has taken the loan in the form of the daily compounding interest so the higher the frequency more the interest is 
charged, right? So, or it is paid on the principal. So, this is how the bank makes their money on the differential of the interest. I hope you have got a fantastic idea about this particular topic. If you have learned and enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Thank you everyone once again for joining the session. Cheers.